Fan TV. It's Kieran here with uh, the Ireland Under 17 coach, Mr. Colin Ryan. Um, so, judging on the uh, draw, I'd say you're pretty happy enough after. Yeah, I suppose we're just that mixture of just relief and excitement. Um, we've been, uh, as players and staff, we've been 10 months waiting for this as we haven't had the qualifiers this year. Yeah. Uh, a lot of players in the squad, or that's been in the squad this year, have known about this uh, tournament since they were 15, so some of them are nearly you know, yeah. their third season waiting for, for today. Um, so it's great just to have something tangible now to uh, work towards for the next four months, even though we've been hard at it for the season. Uh, this is the real stuff now, it's the competition, and it's where the players want to be. Have you used any strategies in terms of keeping the lads on their toes? Because obviously they're going back to their own clubs and whatnot uh, in this time and there's not really qualifiers in between the gaps that they're having. How have you kept lads on their toes to make sure that they, they're sure that they might, they might not be getting in the squad for the qualifiers? Uh, look, it's... Or for the tournament, sorry. Yeah, no, we, 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 you know, we've had a process all year with the players. Uh, we're very honest with the players, we're very clear in our feedback, but we also work with the clubs that they're with as well. So, you know, they have the day-to-day um, we say contact with the players, uh, so if there's any feedback that we need to uh, give those clubs uh, and head coaches, we do. Right. Uh, so, in terms of the group itself, and so probably the, obviously the main ones that you look out for would be Belgium. Um, they came third in the World Cup there, if you in the last World Cup on the under 17s, and obviously they finished quite well at last time around. They got to the semi-finals. So, you're playing them last. Last, have you watched a lot of them? Well, what's interesting about our group, um, like Greece will be our first game, then it's Czech Republic and Belgium, but we've already uh, played Czech Republic and Belgium this year mm. in two preparation matches, so we've played some really strong teams this year uh, because we didn't have the qualifiers, so we wanted to put the players into some testing environment and countries we felt might actually be here. So two of those countries have ended up in our group. We've also played England and Germany, uh, so they've played some high level games this year. So Belgium will be our third game, um, then it'll be Czech Republic, but the focus now for the next four weeks, a lot of our preparation, yes, will be around the three teams, but very much on Greece. In terms of uh, your aspirations before the tournament, obviously, because you are automatically qualifying, how far would you would you like to see yourselves get to? Obviously, look, we'd all love to, love to win it and whatnot, but um, what would be your minimum requirements do you think of the team? Um, I think it, it, like today you know you'd be saying yeah you know all the players will be looking uh, and, and the same with other countries will be trying to get out of the group it's like two tournaments in a tournament so yeah. you've got your kind of mini league with your three teams and then if you get out of your group it's into cup football that, that's basically it yeah. uh, so the players realise that they've been you know we've been uh, preparing them and, and, and working with them with that all year um, but it's, it's, it's very much uh, groups can throw up all sorts of situations. Um, you know, the last two seasons we um, we didn't get off a particularly good start in terms of results, but we actually had two very good performances. But we still ended up getting out of our group. So I think if it's all to play for going into the third game, uh, that would be an important objective for us. Good, good. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time, Colin, and uh, thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. All right. Thanks very much for